Well, welcome to Ravensdale Bible Academy. Today's course is Introduction to Marriage, and today's lesson is from Philippians 1, uh, verses 20 through 21, Christ-centeredness. Now, Philippians says this, According to my earnest expectation and hope, that I will not be put to shame in anything, but that with all boldness, Christ will even now, as always, be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death, for to me is Christ and to die is gain. Well, what does that mean? And what does that mean in context of, of marriage? How, how, how does this relate in marriage? Well, what this means is this. What is your center? What is the, the, the center, foundation, uh, anchor, pillar of, of what's going to uphold your marriage? Is it just based on your love for one another? Is it just based on feelings? Is it just based on, uh, on, on just this, well, the relationship is evolved into the stage now where we went from like to dating to engage to marriage? No, you, you need to have a point. You need to have a purpose. And so a Christ-centered marriage looks like this. Well, first, uh, the human heart is designed. The human heart was designed and created um, by God to worship. And, and so if, if you don't worship God, well, they're going to worship something else. In fact, if you worship other things, then you will worship those other things above God. That includes yourself and even your spouse. And so you take something that sounds good, like, hey, I should, uh, you know, care about myself. And hey, I should love my spouse and give it my very best. The problem is you are not the center of the universe and neither is your spouse. Christ is the center. And so the second aspect that we learn from this principle is that the chief purpose, the, 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 the chief goal and end for all mankind is to glorify God. And so whatever it is that you do in 1 Corinthians 10 31, whether you eat or drink or whatever it is, whether it's your marriage, you are to do that for the glory of God. And so Jesus Christ is the center of your relationship so that you will glorify God. And, and the third principle that we learn in this verse is this is not a religious uh, statement. It's not a real, uh, just a by rote uh, religious or, or a form of religiosity. No, this is a relationship. You're, you're in a marriage relationship with somebody and you're in a relationship with the Lord God Almighty himself. So marriage is not just built on two people becoming one, but the truth is, think of it more like a triangle. And so you have Christ as, as the head of your relationship. Here's the husband, here's the wife. And so you have a triangle, right? This relationship and you're both focusing on honoring and keeping Christ as your center. And that's what allows you to love one another. Think about it like this. Most of us are pretty familiar with computers. We're pretty familiar with a computer's operating system. So the outside of the computer, it might be a laptop, it might be a desktop, it might be gray, it might be black, or in my day when the Macs came out, they were, you know, have these really cool colors. But that's just the outside shell of the computer. What makes the computer, what the difference between a, a Microsoft product versus an Apple product is the operating system itself. And so the computer is driven and based off of that operating system. For us as believers in a Christian relationship, in a Christian marriage, the only way to have a strong functioning relationship is to keep Christ in the center.